The impact of a new inclusive arts clubhouse since opening day in Santa Barbara. News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us now live in Santa Barbara to share how it's going so far. Patricia. Well, you can see this is a very colorful inclusive arts clubhouse. And today, visitors got to draw shamrocks. This is mine. <laughs> the clubhouse even has a mascot. This is Charlotte. Check them out. This inclusive arts clubhouse is sparking curiosity from visitors across Santa Barbara. And now that it's open, how does it make you feel? Happy! Glad, excited. <laughs> oh, they're fairies. Yeah, right? The Grace Fisher Foundation designed this clubhouse for youths with a disability. It's special to me because I like to hang out with friends. The clubhouse provides a safe space for those with all abilities. People are really excited. They come in and um, want to know everything about it. They want to know what programs they can plug into. And um, there's just something for everybody here. It's amazing that this is up and running. We are so excited that there's a place that we can come now and come together. Right now, the clubhouse offers programs for kids and adults of all abilities. I hope is more people come here and join the community. Founded by Grace Fisher, who became paralyzed at age 17, the clubhouse is focused on giving children and young adults a place to express themselves through art, music, dance, and other creative activities. This is a place that we can come and be appreciated and be welcomed. My projection is it's going to be pretty busy. My hope is that I want a lot of people to come. Well, this is just about the most relaxing live shot I've ever had to do. And I think that's kind of the idea here at the clubhouse where everybody can come together, have a good time and just relax. For now, live in Santa Barbara, News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti, let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, so great to say, see Sarah Wilcox sitting next to you, a very talented local artist. Please give her my best. All right, thanks, Patricia.